Here are our top five places that you do not want to miss if you want to do van life in Costa Brava. You're watching Shane Ali Van Life. If you follow us on Instagram, you know we've been traveling through Costa Brava for probably the last month, but the trip didn't get off to a good start. And as you can see, we have no Fergus behind us. Fergus got into a little bit of an accident on the motorway, so he's in the garage right now getting fixed, and that is why we are not traveling. Hopefully we get him maybe tomorrow or the next day, and then we hit the road again and continue van life. So number five on our list is the town of Tossa del Mar. Now this is probably one of the most touristy towns that we've encountered along the whole Costa Brava. This is probably because it's only like an hour and 20 minutes outside of Barcelona. So we do highly recommend visiting it, but even in September time when we were there, there were a lot of tourists. It was full, yeah. It was full of tourists. Yeah. But it does offer some incredible beaches along the coast, and some of the hikes along the old town is just incredible. Highly recommend visiting the old town just to walk around, see the wee shops and the old houses. It is spectacular. So we highly recommend visiting Tossa de Mar. So number four on our list is the town of Burgor. Now we just parked outside the city about a two minute walk and we made our way through the whole medieval town all the way up to the castle which is situated on top of the hill and this is one of the most incredible places to watch the sunset. You get some beautiful views of Bogor itself and of the Costa Brava coastline so highly recommend visiting the castle. Yeah and it must be a thing because there was loads of couples up there watching the sunset. Yeah when, so when we got up it was, it was full of other couples yeah. doing the same thing and then we made our way down to the town and enjoyed some of the local food in many of the restaurants that Bogor has to offer. So the park up itself we found on Park for Night and is situated maybe a five minute walk outside of the town but it's probably one of the best park ups that we have found in the entire trip. It has free wi-fi so in, you're in the middle of nowhere you're surrounded by nature but there's a football field right beside it that has incredible wi-fi it's super fast so it's a digital nomads ideal park up location free wi-fi and everything else so and a green area <laughs> and a green area so uh, definitely recommend visiting the yeah. town of Bogor. are you actually serious don't worry about so number three on our list is Sagaro, which is only half an hour away from Tosa del Mar and it is one of the quietest towns of Costa Brava. It offers a stunning little coastal walk with small beaches and viewing points all along the coast. Probably the nicest walk that we've done Actually, up along yeah. the whole Costa Brava. It was Brava. so nice. It probably takes like half an hour but we spent like almost two because we kept stopping like the pictures in it and the videos that we got from it is just amazing. And he stopped every two minutes. Yeah, I did. Not even two minutes, every 20 <laughs> seconds. In Sagaro we parked literally by the beach because there was loads of free places and it actually was free because it was the second half of September so if you go to Costa Brava we do recommend to go in September just less people from the 15th it's free parking so I don't know we per personally loved going in September so like when you do arrive in September time the beaches aren't crowded like you have loads of room for yourself there's a couple of camper vans here and there but you're not surrounded and most of the park ups that we found along Costa Brava have all been for ourselves because everybody else was away yeah. <laughs> So number two on the list is the town of Calleja de Palafugel. <laughs> the town of Calleja de Palafugel. <laughs> My Spanish is not great. That's why I'm here. Calleja is like an old iconic town along the Costa Brava and really it hasn't changed in many years. So it's like an old fishing village that has kept essence from like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. It offers some of the most incredible little beaches along the coast and all like the beach is full of like old time boats that people still use for fishing and everything so if you're along Costa Brava we highly recommend visiting it's, 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 it's a, a must great, visit it's yeah. a must visit if you're in this area and like it has so many restaurants to choose from so many different types of food and it makes for like a great experience because all the restaurants are like along the shore so yeah. uh, it's, it's a great experience and as for our park up in Calea was literally like a two minute drive outside of the city uh, you have like a big open space that was for camper vans so there was a couple of other camper vans yeah. in in the area but uh, it's only like a two minute drive into the city you can't actually you can't actually drive into the city no but so you just park outside it and it's only yeah, like a two minute walk, walk. Yeah. so put that on your list for when you visit Costa Brava so number one on our list, the top place, our favorite place probably of the entire of the trip, whole trip, is Tamariu. So Tamariu is only, it's less than two hours away from Barcelona actually. And we went in September so it was quiet but the atmosphere was still great. It has beautiful beaches. It's, it's not like a, a real touristy area. No, like, you wouldn't see many, like, there was like different nationalities but it's, yeah. like, it's not 
like a party town. It's a tiny little town. Yeah, it's in, tiny, tiny. Along the coast of Costa Brava. So we enjoyed Tamaru so much that we actually ended up spending a week, over a week there, I'd say. Yeah, we kept we, going back to it. We spent like five days <laughs> and then we went up for the north and then yeah. we came back again because like yeah Tamari was too nice you definitely have to go if you're going to Costa Brava so there's also apart from the beautiful beaches that it has it also offers some amazing activities like I went scuba diving Shane you weren't brave enough I didn't go scuba diving I don't like deep water <laughs> so Annie, Annie went scuba diving while I just uh, swam along the coast so we highly recommend going scuba diving with a uh, Stoyis dive base it's literally situated in the middle of the wee town by the beach you can't miss it <laughs> yeah yeah we'll leave our link here for 65 euro you get a one-to-one -one instructor that knows the best places and shows you around like i saw an octopus i saw um seahorses seahorses and loads of incredible fishes that i had never seen before they were like so colorful oh they were crazy it was so nice it was my favorite part of the entire trip actually so for 65 euro one-to-one -one shows you the best places around can't miss it not even for like scuba diving but Temaru is like one of the best places that I have experienced for snorkeling yeah like even just a couple of meters from the coast you find octopuses as well yeah. like uh, one of the nicest places yeah so if you don't like going to deep water like Shane you can also enjoy snorkeling because there's fishes literally there in front of you like it's just so so nice and like yeah. the beaches around it are like so clean and they're, they're beautiful and and there's also a diving board yeah along the <laughs> along the coast uh, there is some diving boards that uh, i got to experience firsthand and kind of made a show of myself in front of the whole beach because they're a bit slippy <laughs> i kind of end up belly flopping straight <laughs> into the uh, as you see right here yeah <laughs> i belly flopped straight into the water I nearly knocked myself out and all Annie did was laugh. And recorded it. And record. <laughs> and laugh. So also Tamari offers a lovely walk by the coast. By the diving board. You have to go by the diving board. So it's, it's just a coastal walk. Like it, there's no real like pavement or pathway. No. It's along just like the rugged coastline, but yeah. it takes you to like these natural pools. Yeah. So uh, it's like what, like an hour of a walk, is it? Uh maybe even less, yeah. So it's in around an hour of a walk, but highly recommend that you check it out. And as for park up, we found a really, really nice, quiet place. Yeah. Literally 30 seconds outside the town of Tamanu. It was like just literally up a hill yeah. and we had this whole entire car park for ourselves. So definitely a five out of five for parking. And for sure, we'll be back to visit the town oh, very God. soon. Yes, I don't know when, but I know I'm coming back. So that's our top five places along the coast in Costa Brava but there's actually two more places that are part of the Costa Brava region that you can't skip they are so nice and they are Pals and Peratallada which are medieval towns where you just like get lost and they throw you back in time we recommend going with no map once you're in the town obviously just get there explore get yeah. lost just walk around the streets look what street looks nice and just it, go it, there and, and it's hard not to imagine what life would have been like in these old towns yeah years and years ago but both of these towns offer like incredible good park ups for uh, yeah. for camper vans like Pera Pera Tella, Tella has toilets, toilets and and yeah. it has wi-fi and wi-fi yeah but it was very slow but very slow but has toilets wi-fi yeah. all outside the town and free parking like literally a five second walk to the town it's a uh, one of the nicest places and it has like the bell tower that is free yeah. to climb up to the top and you get a a look of the whole town and see the coastline as well and the two towns are only like a, maybe 10 15 minutes away from, from each, each other, other yeah. so uh, highly recommend visit these two towns if you are along the Costa Brava region. So, there you have it, guys. That is the top five places to visit if you're doing van life in Costa Brava and that you cannot skip. But there is other towns and cities that we visited, but they just didn't make the top five because they were like they were further north, but they were like more touristy and there was wasn't as much to do as the other wee towns and places that we visited. We prefer like the more quieter yeah. and more camera experience than the touristy areas but if you have any other recommendations of places to see or do along Costa Brava make sure to comment them down below so then other people watching this video can experience them as well but other than that there thanks for watching make sure to like share subscribe yeah. helps out the channel an awful lot and we're almost at 1500 so many cows <laughs> we're we're in the mountains here in the the north of spain waiting on the van to get fixed and we're covered and surrounded in cows yeah so uh 
make sure to like share subscribe it helps out the channel a lot and we're almost at 1500 subscribers which is huge for us oh so thanks for everybody who hits the subscribe button and if you do like the videos make sure to drop a comment because it just helps out the videos that yeah. little bit just more. comment anything youtube likes it it's like oh this video must be good if people are commenting so just drop a comment <laughs> and give it a big thumbs up please yeah so until the next time thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video bye, bye.